Hey guys, it's Mark again. I just want to go a little bit over um, stacking silver and what I see on uh, YouTube a lot. I see these guys showing their whole stack. Uh, to me, it's really just bragging, uh, unboxing this next box, etc., etc. I mean, if you're stacking for SHTF, uh, you really don't need to be showing everybody what you got because all these guys showing me their entire stack. I know the first place I'm going to go if I know I, I can outgun them, you know. That's if silver is actually worth anything when SHTF happens. Now, if you're uh, a silver bug and just stacking for the fun of it or for an investment, uh, that's, that's good, you know. I, I do a little bit of both. I'm mainly investment, but you never know what's going to happen out there. So uh, what I wanted to share with you tonight is uh, just some differences in what I see that I think people should be more aware of if they're actually stocking up for uh, SHTF. Now one, um, is it actually going to happen? We don't know. Um, you see these people, they're putting all their money in silver and um, that's good, but is silver really going to be worth anything if it really gets so bad that, uh, you know, cash isn't good anymore and the grocery stores break down? You know, what what are people really going to want? Um, are they going to want copper to make electrical wires? Um, or, you know, nickel? You know, nickel is used in a lot of applications. Uh, it can be a useful thing. I see them stacking all their nickels and all their copper pennies. I stacked copper pennies a long time just because, you know, I look at them as scrap metal more than anything, and copper pennies are older, and I, I'm a, a pneumaticist. I love collecting coins. But getting back to uh, stacking for SHTF. I see these people out here, they're, like I said, showing off their whole stack, and they got these hundred, you know, gram bar, or hundred ounce bars, the kilo bars and all that, and if it really does hit the fan, what are you going to do with that hundred ounce bar? I mean, are you buying a piece of property? Probably not. The property's there for the taking for the most part. So what are you really going to do with it? Um... What are you going to trade that much for if it actually goes through the roof? You know, if uh, silver goes to say $311 an ounce, just as, you know, a round, nice round number, that's $10 a gram, basically. Um, and if you're trying to barter, especially for smaller stuff, it's going to be real hard to do anything with that kilo bar. Um, it'd be hard to transport because you can't just bury some of it somewhere and separate it out and make it easy to uh, get you know you, you can't really carry that big thing around but um, stuff like this this is uh, 90 percent Kennedy's right here if you're worried about noise I got them taped up duct tape work great I mean a lot better than this it's just painters tape I happen to have but that's what these are they're 90 percent Kennedy's um, I recommend you don't get too much, you know, uh, maybe a 5 ounce bar, or 10 ounce bar, or maybe tops. So you take that 100 ounce bar, and you, what are you going to do? You're going to try to saw that thing in half, or cut it up in bits. Well, if you saw it, you're going to lose part of your weight sawing it from all the shavings, and unless you're just going to take real you will be real careful and sweep all those shavings up. And then you have the problem of, I don't believe that silver that you've got in that little bag. So um, I recommend you uh, keep it simple, stupid. Practice the KISS um, saying that everybody has. Keep it simple, stupid. Um, I'm going to show you, you know, what I think here. I've got a few things I'm going to try to show you. Um, okay, not working real good, so we'll just do it by hand. Um, obviously, you got your one ounce. Now, this is this isn't junk silver, so to speak. Um, this is more collectors. You've got a Morgan here, and you got a Peace Dollar. Um, I collect these. 
because I love coins and have all my life. I've saved pocket change for years. And we know those are 90% silver. Um, it's easily identifiable. Nobody's going to say, hey, that's not it. Uh, especially if you know what silver sounds like. And then you got your pure 999 silver, one ounce rounds. Um, like I said, I wouldn't keep it any more than 10 ounce bars because um, it's hard to uh, transport and deal with. Um, and if you're bartering, you need to keep it, you know, that could be $311. That could be $3,110. You know, you're really going to barter for a bag of rice or whatever with a $3,000 coin. What are you, what are you going to do? Coming. You've got, say, the little smaller bars. you got a 10-gram bar. I would uh, suggest you get something like that. It's pure. We know what it is. Uh, if it was $311, you know what that's going to be. That's going to be what? I don't know how you do the math. It's not that big of a deal, but you understand what I'm trying to say. You got a 10 gram here. Um, you got these. I suggest you have a lot of these if SHTF happens. These are little one gram bars. Uh, you'll pay a little more of a premium for them, but if you're in it for the investment part of it too, then that's a little one gram coin there. But it's pure silver and you know what it is. Um, it's real easy to carry a little sack of them around. And um, also, like we were getting, you know, the difference between this and this. We know this is 90%. We know this is pure. Um, same thing with like junk silver. Junk silver is a great way to uh, add value. And like I said, you never know. You might find a good one that you could sell off and buy even more silver with. So junk silver is a good way to, uh, you know, everybody recognizes quarters and dimes and uh, half dollars and silver dollars. We know it's 90%. It's easy to do the math on it. Uh, simple math. You don't have to carry, carry around a calculator really to do that. You just divide it in 10 and then minus that. Simple. And if you're going to have stuff like this, uh, it might be a good idea to have it marked. If it's marked, we know what it is. It's sterling. If it's not, uh, in SHTF, you're going to wind up having to carry a stone and your solution. And um, the stone and the solution, well, you know, it's a good idea to have around, but it's not going to last forever. And I would suggest you learn how to make it if uh, you're going to have a lot of this that isn't marked. If you got a lot of this that isn't marked and you're planning for SHTF, um, I think it would be a good idea to sell what's not marked um, and buy stuff that is marked. That way you don't have to carry around the solution and the rock to test it. And also it adds, if you're carrying this, you're going to have to have a scale. Now, um, another way you can get others at a decent price is, this is all sterling. Every bit of it is marked. Um, it'll be really easy to take some out and weigh it. Do the math on it and barter with it. I mean, almost every piece of this is junk. Some of it from that hearing. But you can get it at a pretty good price, uh, especially if you buy when silver's down a little bit. Um, and catch it on the right day of the week nowadays because it's going up and down so much. But we know this is 92.5% pure. We can take our scale. Or hopefully somebody's got a scale. We weigh it out. Do the math on it. But it's all marked. Like I said, if it's not marked, I'd suggest you sell it. And buy stuff that is marked while you still can. Um, keeping the different stuff is just so important. And not overloading. 
I mean, what are you going to do with a kilo of silver in SHTF? You're going to bury it somewhere and hope somebody doesn't see it or takes a metal detector to it. And you've lost a large portion of your backup. Um, now, all this being said, um, like I said, I wouldn't recommend doing these unboxing videos. I mean, if you want, and you're just a silver bug, that's fine. I'm not saying don't. But uh, if you're like for SHTF, like I said, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't have these videos showing my whole stack. It's, it's just showing off, number one, I think. And it's uh, setting yourself up for some bad stuff. I mean, I'm happy for you. I, I love it. Uh, if you're going to do it, do it anonymous, anonymously, completely anonymously. Um, to where you're untraceable somehow. Um, I think these little one grammars, the ten grammars, um, would be absolutely great for SHTF. Um that's basically what I kind of wanted to share my take on SHTF silver stacking um, some mistakes that I feel and it's just my opinion that I feel people make um, like I said if you're doing it for the investment purposes of it that's great but trying to saw a bar up that big like I said is uh, very difficult at best and, you know like I was getting back to it if we're at ten dollars a gram we know for a fact this is 10 grams and we know it's a hundred bucks nice and easy it's easy to carry uh, it's easy to conceal it's easy to keep up with you take it out of the little plastic things uh, to uh, carry it around and you can, like i said do this with duct tape or something like that uh, to keep it from making noise because you don't want to be running through the woods anything like this you know you're gonna, it's going to be easy to hear you so secure your stuff I can hear you I know where to look for you you know I'm chasing you now because uh, I probably got a bigger gun than you and I, if it's that bad and it's a dog eat dog world you know it, it, it could get ugly and you need to look out for yourself um, I don't think it's going to come to that, and I'm not prepping for it, so to speak, but I have started, you know, doing a little bit of stuff, keeping a little rice, and I've always stacked silver, um, no matter what, and I've sold when it got high to try to take profits, uh, but I've always kept some. That's basically what I wanted to share with you, like I said, um, I hope uh, this is informative. Uh, just let me know in the comment section uh, what you think. Any other ideas? Anything I missed? Uh, it'd be great. It's just a forum. YouTube and these channels are just a forum for everybody, common people to uh, express ideas. Um, please hit that like button if you like the video. Share it. I'd appreciate it. Uh, it helps me and my little buddy Caden out. You see him on the other videos. Check his little ones out and we'll do a toy review for you every now and then. He gets an idea and he'll tell you what he's thinking about. Um, please subscribe. Uh, like I said, there's contests going on. There's a couple other videos. We'll tell you about it. Um, for every 100 subscribers that subscribes and uh, hits that notification button, we will uh, give away 100 carats of semi-precious stones. And when we reach 1,000 subscribers, uh, we're going to give away something like this. Uh, we're going to give away an ounce of silver. Still haven't figured out exactly what we're going to give away, but probably going to be one of these right here. Or one very similar to it, or maybe um, a bar. Um, not like this, we'll make sure it's an ounce. But please comment, please like us, it helps us out, like I said. Uh, subscribe uh, to get in on the contest because we will give it away to every 100 subscribers, subscribers, not just 800, every 100 subscribers. Uh, I'm gonna put out a thousand or a hundred carats of semi-precious stones it's got jaspers and all kinds of nice stuff in it and um, We appreciate you watching and uh, we'll see you next time